innovation within the context of purchase decision. Many conscious and unconscious questions go through consumers' mind when deciding to purchase a new product. In the same way, many measures can be used as success indicators of an initiative. Purchase intent and overall liking are the most commonly used. But these questions don't really predict the probability of success of an innovation, as they can have many other underlying reasons behind them. So which measures have direct influence on the success of a new product in the market? After years of research and development, Ipsos has learned that three measures have a direct correlation with the trial and repeat of a new product. They are the red measures, relevance, expensiveness, and differentiation. Is this product relevant? Does it meet any relevant need? How is its price perceived compared to the usual product? Is this product really different and does it arouse a willingness to try? And how do we analyze these red measures? Consumers all around the world decide to purchase a new brand or product only if the launch is good enough in comparison with the products they normally purchase, in particular, comparing their most often purchased product. The best and most realistic benchmark that exists is not what is on a database, but what consumers are using today. And Ipsos calls this benchmark MOP, Most Often Purchased Product. We compare your initiative against the consumer's usual product. Is this new product more different than the MOP? Does it fulfill my needs better than the MOP? And what about its price? Is it fair compared to the MOP? Given these comparisons, we can predict if the consumer will adopt the new product or not. Trial and repeat. Trial index is the trial potential of an innovation in the real market. We always consider 100 to be the market average number. Having a trial index of 120 means that your launch is 20% above what is expected for that market structure. It indicates a high chance of success, depending also on the market execution. Based on the comparison of the performance of your new concept versus the most often purchased product, the mop of each consumer, Ipsos calculates the trial index. To compute the trial index, we consider the information provided by consumers about their MOP and new concept red measures and also the category market structure. Based on consumers' experiences with your product and on the results of your after-use questionnaire, Ipsos calculates the repeat index. Repeat index is the potential for repeating purchases of your innovation. We always consider 100 to be the market average number. Having a repeat index of 102 means that your launch has a potential of being 2% above the expectation for that market structure. In other words, it's pretty much the same as the market average. Trial and repeat are tangible measures that represent the potential of your initiative in the real market. Will your initiative achieve a healthy penetration? Will your product retain these consumers? Additionally, given the estimated trial and repeat indexes, it's possible to compute the sales forecast in the first year of the new product launch by adding your market force information in our InnoQuest CPT model with the optional forecast. Yes, we can also do a volume forecast.